Overland Trails Cooking with Dana. Camp Cooking with Dana. Tonight we are going to have a chicken dish that I just sort of made up on the fly at home one night. It is a sauteed pan chicken with a sun-dried tomato pesto and fresh vegetables, or not fresh vegetables, uh, sauteed vegetables and penne pasta. So I'm about to start with um, boiling some water on our new Genesis Jet Boil cooking system. We decided to go with that. Um, we, we like using all different kinds of cooking, um, but we're going with that just for a quick weekend run and gun. So I'm gonna boil some water. For the penne pasta, not penne, uh, boat top pasta. I love this Jet Boil Genesis system because everything all fits in together. It all fits into this pot, the uh, system, the cookware, cook apparatus folds over on itself. It fits down in there and then these two make the top and then it has a bag for storage. Okay, now I know you can, I don't know if you can see, but I've got the chicken on a paper towel. I like to do that because everyone knows that chicken uh, has juices and everything. And whenever I'm pan frying chicken, I like to make sure that the chicken is as dry as possible so that the seasonings adhere to the chicken and you get the more bang for your buck. So that's why on top of my cutting board, I've just added some paper towel and I dabbed as much of the juices off of the chicken as possible. And then I'm seasoning it with just some uh, garlic powder and I believe it has, yeah, it's garlic powder with parsley and um, just salt and pepper. And then I will cook it all the way through and then after the pasta gets together, or finishes, I will drain it, put the, chop up the vegetables, and then cut it all together and put it all together with the sauce. Now one thing also about the Genesis is that the handles fold into it. So you just pull them out like that and it makes, and it's Teflon coated or rubber coated. So just put it there. I know what you're thinking. Where's the cowboy seasoning? Well, cowboy seasoning doesn't really go with Italian seasoning that well. So I'm using broccoli and cauliflower. I'm using a frozen. Uh, whenever we left this morning, I just pulled it out of the freezer and I put it in a bag so that if, as it started thawing, it wouldn't go into the bottom of our refrigerator. And what I'm going to do is after the chicken gets through cooking, I'm gonna pull it off and let it rest for a little bit. And then I'm going to put the um, vegetables in with the chicken drippings and let them start to cook. That's whenever I will add the um, sun-dried tomato pesto and start letting all of the flavors marry and um, then I will cut up the chicken probably in little chunks so it's easier for us to eat without having to cut it up as we go and by that time by the time all that happens this should be ready to go I'm gonna need this to turn back up And one other cool feature I want to mention on this, on the lid for the pot that also fits on the skillet, you can see these holes right here so it acts as a strainer. Okay, I've taken the chicken out, I'm letting it rest, and I've got these handy uh, measuring spoons that collapse and they're all together. I could pull them apart, but I haven't yet. Now what I'm about to do is 
normally I bring chicken stock, but I forgot it this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the pasta water to add. And what this does is it's going to almost add a broth. Uh, it will evaporate a lot of the oils and everything, and then now I'm just going to put in our vegetables and let them start to saute. Get in all those juices. Gonna put some in this. And I'm going to put the rest in here with the sauce, uh, with the pasta. And you don't want to use metal spoons in the jet bowl system. So I'm just going to take my tongs, which are rubber coated. Do the same with all of this goodness. All right, this is just about ready. So all I'm going to do next is put uh, pour this in with the pasta. Stir it up to make sure it's well combined, and then we'll be ready to eat. So before I go, I want to give a shout out to some of my most favorite fans. Charlie, Colby, Cooper, Tyler and baby Austin, also known as Cheeks. We'll see you on the trails. <laughs>